You know, there's nothing quite like the open road and RVing in the wilderness. We're out here today to test the Wilson Drive 4GX RV kit against the Surecall Fusion to Go 3.0 RV kit to see who stacks up better. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm an engineer and I was bored today, so I decided to test some things. And you can always trust a guy in a lab coat. All right, so I laid out the different products here. We got the Surecall stuff in this area on the uh, Wilson Drive 4GX stuff RV kit here. Ugh, that's a stretch. I'm gonna mount these antenna right here next to each other and uh, leave them both hooked up and we'll just switch back and forth for the purposes of the test. Boy, ran that nut all the way to its limits and uh, it's as tight as we get. Might be enough to keep it from flopping. So that's the Wilson or the WeBoost slash Wilson antenna. Let's hook up the Surecall one. Got plenty of threadage there. I'm not sure what the standard uh, ladder sizes are. This one seems to be a little more equipped for an RV ladder of this size. All right, that one is definitely sturdy. This one, definitely not. Key. The Wilson one uses a uh, F connector is the same as like your standard satellite TV or cable TV connector. Sure call uses a larger N connector. Okay. So we got the sure call cable here. I've got a good well, it's 20 I think 20 foot cable it comes with. Got plenty to get in. I'm just gonna go into this uh, window here, feed it up through there. Here's the WeBoost cable. Came up a little short. Um, they do have a second cable in the kit that I will hook up to extend this guy. All right. Sure call in the WeBoost. We're gonna just temporarily install them here in the kitchen. See, uh, see what we get out of it. Got the WeBoost antenna. It's got a little about two, maybe three inch pigtail cable on it, um, which kind of leaves it very close to the booster. My guess is that extra piece that we used for the outside run might have supposed to have been for this, but so we can move it around. But anyway, there's the WeBoost antenna, the Surecall antenna, the whip antenna attaches to the booster itself right there on the inside antenna connector. Okay, they're very dirtily installed. I'm gonna power on one at a time so we can do a good comparison between them. Quick breakdown of the comparison here between the Wilson Drive 4GX RV kit and the uh, Fusion to Go 3.0 RV kit. Um, I noticed a lot of great things. What we did is we set it up, had a download test. Uh, we ran uh, the speedtest.net app. Um, we hooked them up in different configurations, ran the same test with uh, both boosters multiple times. We, we took, uh, ran the test five times and we averaged the results of each test. Um, the first one, was the WeBoost kit as it, as it comes out of the box. Um, it worked two out of the five times. It was able to make a connection and actually perform the speed test. Of the two times that it did work, the average speed was 1.66 download and 0.03 upload. So then we uh, reconfigured it all, um, set up the Surecall booster. It worked all five times. The average download speed was 2.85 megs with an average upload of 0.18. And what's interesting about the Surecall kit is it comes with the Omni antenna and it also comes with a patch antenna. Um, so we actually hooked this up with the patch antenna as well and, and ran the test again. Uh, the patch antenna is nice. If you have like a, a jet pack or a wireless hotspot, you can stick it right on this patch antenna and it's kind of, it's not as much gain as the Omni and it's more directional. So it kind of helps out. And we ran that test again. We kind of set the phone on top of the patch antenna on top of this box, ran the test. Um, and we noticed it had a download of 3.97 megs and an upload of 0.29. So a pretty considerable difference even between the Surecall product with the different patch antenna there. Um, I kind of reconfigured things. Um, WeBoost recently came out with a, uh, what they're calling like a fixed mobile RV kit. So if you're stationary, not moving, you can actually use a Yagi antenna, which is a more high directional um, high gain directional antenna on the outside antenna. 
and we set it up with with that. I don't, I didn't have the Drive 4GX uh, Yagi antenna, so I used a, a Surecall Yagi antenna that I had in stock, um, which is actually three dB of gain higher than the Wilson antenna um, as it's configured. So I set that up, ran the cables in, and did the same test with the Yagi antenna on, on the outside instead. With the Wii Boost booster, with the Yagi attached, um, the speed, the download test did work five out of five times. Um, the Wii Boost averaged with a download of 3.43 megs and an upload of 0 0.05. And then the same test with the Surecall. It also worked five out of five times with the Yagi with a download speed of 18.7 as an average and an upload of 0.87, which is almost six times better download speeds and upload speeds than the, uh, the WeBoost booster. So I was pretty, pretty impressed with that. A couple things that, that uh, I noticed as well, I like that the Surecall kit comes with the, uh, the vehicle outdoor antenna also. Um, so if you wanted to use that, you have it, it's, it's here. Um, it comes with the, the, both of the inside antennas, not just the, the one single antenna that the WeBoost kit comes with. Um, I also, some things I'd like to point out about the Wilson kit is, is their packaging wise, they, they win. Um, it, it's much easier to understand the packaging and whatnot. Um, it comes with a, uh, a drill bit if you're going to do a permanent install. If you're going to take, take that bite and actually drill through the exterior of your, of your um, RV, and it comes with a uh, cable entry cover, which is kind of nice, and uh, a couple zip ties and some other things to kind of conceal the cable and make it look nice. I would personally have a professional do that part of it. I never drill through anything unless I'm willing to, to marry it or buy it. Um, also, the Wilson kit comes with a, an optional uh, 12 volt power supply in case you wanted to hook it directly to a battery or something. Um, it's got some bloody ends that you can just splice right on the battery or whatever, and a little mounting bracket to mount it somewhere. Um, other than that, they both come with uh, the, the AC adapter and the DC adapter and, and everything else you need. Um, I noticed that the Surecall uh, kit comes with a little longer outdoor cable, which was nice. The Wilson one had a, a two shorter lengths of cable, and I had to use both of them in, in, in order to get into the RV. Um, but other than that, I would say that uh, performance-wise, no question the Surecall clearly outperformed the, uh, the WeBoost booster in, in uh, all aspects. I would suggest buying this with the Yagi antenna um, because it was absolutely amazing the difference in, in service we got from an average of four download to an average of uh, 18, almost 19 download. Um, that puts you in the ballpark of fully functioning, you know, downloading a, a HD Netflix stream, um, being able to work remotely. I was able to, to hop onto my laptop and take care of some emails and other things here when I was, when I was working on this. So performance-wise, hands down, I would give it to Surecall on this one. Um, and plus, with the, with the price difference, I think Surecall is clearly the greater value as well. There's, there's quite a significant price difference there. So uh, in my opinion, uh, sure calls the, the clear winner on this one.